Walking in a cave here. Dun dun. Walking in a cave here. Dun dun. But anywho, what's up, my wolf pack? It's me, the Orwolf, and welcome back to more Cthulhu Saves the World. In our last episode, we continued onward through this cave here. We fought some do gooders, and we got a fleece tunic and an iron sword, which makes Cthulhu a stronger. In this episode, we'll be making it out of this crazy cave. Crazy, hazy maze cave here. And reaching into that town we were supposed to be reaching. And as you can see here, our iron sword is doing us good justice here. See? And now I'm level 7. And now Cthulhu is level, cell, level 7. Um, let's see here. Vitality and will goes up by 15. So let's just take that. Because vitality is a good thing. So I think them red things, they mark where you're supposed to go. So I noticed that, but just for the off-end pass, you get 150 gold. <laughs> and more monsters. More monsters. Not doing that bad. And what I'm doing here is just fun mash. Fun mash for the fun of it. See, that's how I have to do That's See, I'm not cutting out these monster battles because they're fun, because all I just have to, what I have to do is just mash buttons like crazy. And now we are on the beach cave 3-2. So that's a good thing. So now we are here. An early place to build the game. There's no restore point after before the store terror boss fight. After several complaints from players, pick restore points and restore points before party pretty much every far in the game. So we're coming up to actually a boss. So we can save you. Let's just take on the boss, cause just in case there's like a second attempt or something. But I could do the movie. Was looking over the mountain cliffs when sunrise when they was on the very first screenshots for re release of the game. I wanted to show all the improvements we made to the engine, and besides, there are a few things more heroic than the squid and man standing on top of a cliff with a sword in hand. Ha <laughs> ha. So just going across this bridge here, seeing what it is. As the adventurers cross the long bridge line to Miskatonia. Look at the ocean! A strange beast jumps out of the ocean, hur hurling itself towards Cthulhu and Umi. Looks like a star terror. I haven't seen one of those since my days on Riggle 44. Time to prepare yourself, groupie. What is this point's battle we've had to this point? Me your child's play. Now show me what you got. And forgot that voice. So this is our actually our first major boss fight of the game. Um, so we're going to... First one is attack it off with insanity, and then we're going to find it up by like this was a blind strike. So now look at that face. This insanity, their faces—they look so hilarious. So there we go. Ah, so got one more retry here. See, that's why we didn't have to use that stuff. Ugh, so we're now we're going to battle. Besides, the time I'm recording this right now is... It's the first the first episode hasn't even went up. So we we summon a giant kraken. So that's a good thing. Now they're at 110% strength. So we must as well put, put some insanity on them. So they're now going insane. He's now insane. So, better yet... Death blow, magic, heal. There we go. Trying to save stuff here. And that's how pff, heal Cthulhu. So better yet, use potion, umi, magic, flood. And magic, heal. Trying to save my stuff here. Trying to save my spot here. There we go. And now... Desk Blow, Magic... YES! GOT IT! To go and care of that boss. I need that much boss to take. <laughs> okay! <laughs> okay, <laughs> go on. Not bad. Guess you are as useless. Not as useless as I suspected. Yay, I'm not useless. Hey, wait a second! I feel bad for the star terror, though. It reminded me of my pet starfish, you know. 
instead of being a cute little friend, it was a huge terrifying monstrosity. Don't kid yourself, Umi, if this, that star terror you ever got the chance he'd eat you and everyone you care about. Well, obviously, I'm not stupid. I still feel sorry for it, though. Hey, why would you feel sorry for something that was going to kill you? I'm sorry, Umi. Okay, for a second, we forgot. Forgot to read this developer's note. An early version of Star Terror Boss had the difficulty all messed up. It was easy, che easy to cheese if you repeated these element attacks, since that will keep it a perpetual lock. But if you didn't, you were toast. Before release, we upped its element resistance a tad, while simultaneously allowing its power to make it more manageable. All right, and now we're here on the hub world, the hub world of it all. Can't go over here, but looky there, we're on the screen, and now we're going to. Uh, town. We were supposed to go into this town, but no. We have to have a quick little boss fight. No, boss fight. Now we're in this town here. It's like, hello, welcome to Miss Miss Catonia. Welcome to Miss Catonia. So we're now in um this first town. All the town's names are based on various locations associated with H.P. Lovecraft and his work. The towns were named at fairly late development, so to this day I still refer to them by the names like Volcano Town and Zombie City. Also, we were originally going to name one of the towns Arkham, however, due to the names these and other works, we decided that we would better off playing it safe and not including it. So, so this is, um, if you're wondering, uh, Cthulhu was originally created by that guy, H.G. Lo Star Lovecraft. So, that's why these names were probably designed based upon him. So, hey lady, I love this town! Wow, you have something useful to say. Shane, Shane, come back, what's wrong? I was exploring the caves in the northwest with my dog Shane when we were suddenly attacked by monsters. I ran as fast as I could escape, but Shane is still trapped there. Cthulhu, let's go find his dog. I guess rescuing somebody, something is sort of thing a hero would do, even if it's only a dog. Quest game, find Shane the dog. So we got this quest here. And the Shane reference was my wife's. It was her fault. <laughs> so we're now going into this armory. We're going to the armory, the bakery, the armory, the bakery. Oh, okay, I want to attack pots. I want to see if we can attack pots. Oh, uh, no! I can't attack paws! No! Make sure to put new clip on this you purchased. <laughs> See, the blacksmiths were all... Unlike most of the characters back in the game, the blacksmiths only consists of one image. No point in making more if he's only going to be facing down all the time, so that's interesting. Welcome to my shop. Oh, oh, horrifying one, so we can buy weapons. Um, we got a sharp trident. We can buy that. Let's buy it for Umi. And let's buy some armor. The armory, the bakery, 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 the armory, the bakery. So we can now buy a warrior tunic for Cthulhu. But we need to strengthen up um, Umi a little bit. So yeah. So and now we're here over here to this guy, the blacksmith. Are you thirsty? Yes, I am. Thanks for asking. Okay, that looks like that guy's like, are you thirsty? We should explore the nearby town, Mr. Cohen, for supplies and information for an next heroic task. So now we're con we can now equip, so now we're going to equip some armor and attack, so we've now got that, and might as well, since we're not going to be using some of this junk anymore, let's sell our weapons, let's sell the sword, sell the trident, and sell our tunic, regular old tunic, and the regular old dress. So, yeah, just clean out some inventory space here. Doing that, because that's how you usually do in RPGs, I guess. The sound music didn't change much from the original version to what it is in the game, but it didn't change only one way. The original version had a 10 second intro before the main body of the music started. By moving this intro to the end of the song, the overall feel of the music changed from a ballroom dance theme to the small rural town theme we were looking for. And then add the music up. <laughs> My bad, that's why you can hear it. Welcome to Miss Coke the University, our doctors to open the secrets of knowledge. Okay, thank you very much. Students at Miss Coney University are cute this year, don't you agree? And all this music. Typical RPG, glorious music. Okay, why can't we go back into a door I just opened? Okay. Uh, do you wish to be a hero? Go to the hero side of heroes to the east of you pass the test. Let's reach the highest warrior, your wish may be granted. Okay, this is cool. The new version of the game design. We sent to full flange dating sim. Segment here between Cthulhu and Umi. Sadly, this got cut due to time constraints. Aww. So, this is a crazy old man near the edge of the who just beats God with his own here. I hear he's a member of the evil cult that worships an ancient false god. Good to hear I still have followers. Ha 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 
Have you heard about the horrible monster that's coming to kill us? It's called Kathila or something like Kilsi or something like that. It's supposed to be as huge as a mountain with hideous green screen. There's a hundred gold bounty for whoever manages to kill a horrible creature. Only a million, certainly I'm worth a gazillion gold. Ha ha ha. So this guy right here, this lady. Oh, no, don't go down, lady. I want to talk to you. Welcome to my cafe. It's a perfect place to relax for heroes. I talked to you other day, Dash. You all learned to switch play your heroes and then it was a story for their heroic deeds. So those fools, those fools are going to kill us. Alright, there's a doggy. Doggy. Cthulhu the doggy. Oh, it's a doggy named Cthulhu. Woof. Dog appears to have the same name as Cthulhu. How odd. Yes. So now at the end, we can rest our HP. Ba Beltman, of course, is a reference to Tetsunoda's of his sticking belts all over the place of his character designs. So this guy's like, You made a man dress as Beltman, drawing powers from his outfit almost uh, entirely a belt. He most his thoughts to us, strongly clients, defeat us. And quickly, if you run into him, okay. So, defeat Beltman. Special today, Raymond, free Raymond Moore, terrifying all looking adventurers. Save your. And to your sort of save your game? Yes. Slot A. So we can save here. It's, and I can save at ends. And. Is that what I was thinking? It, no. Oh. I feel the room, you are a monster. I still got it. <laughs> I thought that was like something in reference to like some Dragon Quest. Poof, 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 people from Dragon Quest. But nope, it ain't. Ha <laughs> ha. So just exploring town just a little bit more. We're exploring some town. We're exploring our town. This first town of the game. But I think we're going to save it right here as a heroic look of Umi and Cthulhu on the overworld. So thank y'all for watching this episode. So next time in, Cth in Cthulhu Saves the World, we'll be um, exploring around here in Miskatonia for just a little bit longer. And then we'll move on from there to see what we have to do next. So I will see y'all then. Bye-bye. And oh, I want that castle to be mine.